Yeah guys, so it's lovely to see you here again. I appreciate you coming to join us and tonight we are looking at Sundial stock again. Now I know a lot of you guys are, you know, happy to invest in Sundial stock. So tonight I'm going to be giving my personal opinions on Sundial stock once again. So obviously in that video we're going to be giving my predictions, my analysis and generally speaking my opinion. So if that sounds like a good plan for a video, please do leave a like and subscribe. You can see right now we're on 2030. Actually YouTube is directly telling me that it's 2030. Let's try get up to 2100 by tomorrow. With your help, it can be done. Of course, I would massively appreciate it if you want to come and join us in our Discord. Link to the Discord is down in that description. We are talking about stocks all the time in there, and we have some real bright people who know a lot about all kinds of stocks. Right Right, let's jump straight into this video and have a look at how Sundial has been going. So if we have a look at our charts, we can see on the one month chart, Sundial has obviously dipped quite significantly. However, if we look from the earlier part of the month, it is still up quite significantly. So let's get a percentage figure on that. It's up 96% from the earlier part of the month, even considering the most recent drops. Obviously, factoring in the larger part of this, we are up 224% before that sell-off did happen. But obviously, the main catalyst is the potential decriminalization of uh, cannabis or what this company does sell if you guys didn't already know that obviously de uh, decriminalization of it can also lead to potential legalization but a lot of people are saying that with, with this one it's one of those risky ones in the sense that it's unlikely that that bill is going to get passed but either way you know when we talk about this one for the short term that does play quite a significant role because obviously that's the main catalyst for the stock when we talk about this one for the long term you've got to ask yourself does it really matter too much at all because obviously in the in the very very long term Term, this will probably still see some growth but anyway let's have a look at entry points potentially now now it's important to note before we do go any further i am not a financial advisor and everything that i am going to go into saying this video is nothing but my opinion now, of course my opinion may be wrong in the future there's nothing to say it's going to be right but let's jump straight into this one so yeah let's have a look at the one day chart if we do have a look at the one day chart we can see that the stock price is unfortunately down and i think it's down by quite a bit let's get a percentage figure on that we're down by four ish percent so around four percent we are down to be not good at all but obviously if we do have a look at the you know larger moves it does kind of play into what has happened because obviously with a huge increase it was bound to sell off somewhat in a bit so yeah, out to the five day chart, we can see we are still negative, unfortunately. The main reason why we are negative is because of the huge sell off that we saw on the uh, early or mid part of last week. So obviously going from the Tuesday and the Wednesday last week, we did see that big sell off, obviously the move coming after that big increase. But obviously if we do take that move out of this graph, we can see that we are not doing too badly at all. We saw a big spike up uh, on Thursday, that was last Thursday, and we've been quite stable at that point, uh, price point ever since until we got to this Tuesday where it looked Looks like the stock price has unfortunately taken a small dip so obviously now the stock price is still up from where it was on the 10th of december but you know it's not as high as it was previously so looking out so one month like i said obviously huge catalyst was early this month and then as people kind of sold off with a nice profits the price did go down now my opinion for this one is it's definitely going to be hard to say because in the comment section i have seen a lot of people saying i've bought a thousand shares of this or i've bought 500 shares i'm just thinking I am not going to do that personally. That is not the kind of thing that I would do. Obviously, this company, I mean, as a company, yes, if you do believe in what it does, potentially there is room for growth in the future. But with what the catalyst is and the main reason why it would grow potentially, you've got to ask yourself, what type of risk am I getting into? And that is what I like to do in all kinds of stocks when we are analysing them. And Sundial, as a company, yes, I do like what they do. I do think that there is potential decriminalisation of this market sector in the future. But you know what? It, I think it's more far into the future than what this company is anticipating and what a lot of investors are anticipating. So when it comes to this stock, I would say it is still a buy if you are holding for a few years. Obviously, my main opinions are if you are fundamentally going for that short-term growth, that huge increase in more recent times, I would say that's definitely quite high risk. I would say that there are better buys out there for you know high growth because obviously with this one being so risky, it's hard to say whether it is going to happen. But yeah, for the short term, probably not a buy, probably look into something else. But for the long term, I don't see any problems with this company. Maybe wait for it to drop a little bit further. Obviously, if that catalyst does not happen then the price will probably go down even further but either way i would say this is definitely a stock to keep on your radar if you are a long-term investor as it could be a great way to diversify your portfolio but ultimately i would not get in at this price point and i would not buy 
tons of shares because personally I don't have that much faith in a stock like this. So yeah, there are potentially better plays in this market industry. However, you know, if you do want to keep Sundial on your radar, it might be one to watch. So I hope that you did enjoy the video. If you did, please do leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye until then.